Did you hear that? It is time to verify the buzz about all the bugs enjoying this unseasonably warm weather. Stacy Spivey asked me to verify. Is it true this is a cicada year and that is what is causing the loud noise we're hearing outside? The answer is part true, part false. My sources are the North Carolina State Extension and Frank Fowler, a biologist and vice president of McNeely Pest Control. They conclude, yes, it is a cicada year, but that is not what is causing all the noise right now. What you're hearing now are probably frogs and toads that are kind of waking up down in eastern North Carolina. They call them spring peepers, um, and they make a real loud, raucous noise and um, there is, is time for a lot of these frogs to mate and uh, similar to what the cicadas do in the spring and the summer. Cicadas are coming. Countless red-eyed cicadas called Brood X. The North Carolina State Extension explains they spend most of their lives as nymphs feeding on roots of trees. They live underground for several years and emerge in the spring when the tree canopies have leaves. Fowler said the soil temperature has to be about 67 degrees. The North Carolina State Extension explains there are six broods of cicadas in North Carolina. Brood X are 17 year cicadas. They'll emerge this year, 2021, and not again until 2038. One of the theories that they have such a long life cycle so that the generations uh, don't overlap and you have different populations of cicadas that come out different years and that will actually better support uh, the life cycle and will keep the generations uh, for very, very long periods of time. And though they look intimidating and emit that shrill clicking mating call, Fowler said the cicadas are really beneficial to other animals in the ecosystem. They're a great source of protein and they eat plants so they won't bite you. They also don't do a lot of plant damage. So I want to bring in the team to discuss. Stacy, you asked the original question. Frogs are the culprit behind the noise you heard, but yeah, those cicadas are coming. Yeah, I heard this loud, it almost sounded like an alarm going off in our neighborhood. And so I was talking to Megan about it. I was like, I think there's cicadas coming, but actually frogs. Um, do y'all see those red bug uh -huh. eyes that, that thing has? It's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> and to think they've been underground yeah. for 17 years. <laughs> yeah. So bizarre. <laughs> yeah. So Ed, the pest control expert said that the ground temperature needs to be about 67 degrees, the soil temperature for these to emerge. When do you think that could happen? Well, uh, you know, given the fact that we've had warm weather, but we're about to cool off again. So that's kind of a hard uh, to assess. But mm -hmm. obviously, as we get warmer on through March and into uh, April, I got a feeling that in April we're going to hear from these critters <laughs> uh, for sure, because, you know, we'll keep warming things up, but it'll be interesting to see how things go. You know, interesting thing about the frogs. I grew up on a farm, so uh -huh. we always listen to nature. Boy, you listen to nature, lots of unique sounds. My grandmother Matthews always told me that that was frogs praying for rain. I and I don't know it. how that I don't know how that mm -hmm. stuck into my mind. I think she told me that when I was eight years old and it stuck. <laughs> I like it. Taran, <laughs> you mentioned that the eastern part of our state generally is warmer, so could cicadas emerge there first, or does it really not matter? Um, I, I think that's probably a, a, a good uh, assumption to make. Okay. With temperatures that are going to warm up, you know, out that way in the 80s before we're going to be consistently in the 80s on a typical day, they're probably going to have to deal with the cicadas before we do. Either way, everybody's going to hear them <laughs> everywhere across the state <laughs> at some point, for sure. But they're not harmful, no. so that's good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the question, Stacey. This was a great one to verify. Mm -hmm. If you have a verified claim, submit a post screenshot or selfie video to my Facebook page, Mega Malaris News, or you can email or tweet me. Let me get your questions verified.